So that uh, riverboat at the Magic Kingdom? Yeah, I thought I was going to cause it to crash. Welcome back, Internet folks. So today I would like to share with you just a quick story from my time as a riverboat captain at the Liberty Square Riverboat. So what many guests don't realize is that the Liberty Square Riverboat is an actual steam-powered ship. It burns fuel to boil water to produce the steam that's sent back to the engines that push the paddle wheel around and make the ship go. Now it isn't a 100% authentic riverboat. We're not really up there steering it. It is on a guide track that goes throughout the river. But we were able to fool some guests. Man, you took that corner really well. Yeah, with about a foot on each side. Or man, you pulled that boat right into the dock. Yeah, I've been doing it for a few years now. I know what I'm doing. But to produce electricity for the boat, for the lights, for the narration, for the fuel to get pumped into the boiler, we had a steam turbine. So the steam would get pumped from the boiler down to the steam turbine, and there it would produce electricity. Now the steam turbine produced just enough electricity for us to be able to get the fuel pumped into the boiler for it to be burned, uh, the lights and the narration. Again, there was just enough electricity to be able to power the boat in a normal operation. Now in cases where the steam turbine didn't produce enough electricity, we had a diesel standby generator in the back of the boat. And man, that thing was loud. When it would kick on, it was like... It would wake you up. That thing was so loud that if the boat was at the back of the river by the railroad tracks, you could hear it up at the riverboat landing. You'd hear this, and you'd be like, oh, yeah, something happened to the riverboat. They got the standby generator on. So one night I'm on the riverboat. I'm in the steam position. That's downstairs. I'm monitoring the water level of the boiler. I'm monitoring the steam pressure. Everything's fine. So I was up at the front of the boat enjoying the breeze. It was a cool, moonless evening, very secluded. We're in the back of the park by the pirate's cave in there. When all of a sudden, without warning, the standby generator in the back of the boat turns on. There's no reason for it to turn on. The steam turbine's doing fine. Lights are fine. Narration's fine. So I head on back to check on what's going on and check my voltage, make sure everything's all right. Go through the steps and procedure for if the standby generator turns on automatically. And as my hand hits the gate for the engine cage, all of a sudden, the standby generator goes, Silence. The narration stops. Every light bulb on that boat went off. It was pitch black. And all I could hear were the engines. And on that pitch black, moonless night, with those two steam engines still chugging along. My first thought was, my God, my colleague in the wheelhouse cannot see where he's going. We're gonna crash into Tom Sawyer's Island. And as almost as quickly as that thought came to my mind, all of a sudden, <laughs> the standby generator started on again. All the lights came back on. My colleague who was up in the wheelhouse had made it down to steam by this time, shouting to guests as he went, stay where you are, nobody move, everything's okay. So we made it back to the dock, safe and sound, nobody was injured. And sure enough, when maintenance came out, they checked, there was a faulty wire between the standby generator and that steam turbine. I really love to share that story because it really emphasizes the effect the theme park environment can have on an individual. Because in that moonless, clear, cool evening, I really thought I was on a 19th century riverboat. I often joke with people that if I ever got stuck in a time machine and sent back to the 19th century, at least I knew how to operate a steam boiler on a riverboat. But I really believe the environment I was in. I was on this steamboat that my colleague upstairs would not be able to see where he was going. Duh, dummy, it's on a track. But it really illustrates that the sights, the sounds, the smells, the feel can really immerse you in a theme park environment and really make you believe you are on a riverboat with a man upstairs piloting. Just make sure he can see where he's going. But what about you? Do you have any great stories about forgetting yourself in a place? Or how about any attraction breakdown stories? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you, internet folks, for applying the rivers of America with us today. I truly hope you enjoyed that story of mine from the Liberty Square Riverboat. It's one of my favorite stories to tell. If you did and would like to hear more stories from Walt Disney World and Shanghai Disneyland, as well as more about theme park operations, secrets, and culture, please subscribe so you never miss a future video. And again, thank you so much for watching.